Another winning day on the Power 5 yesterday. Went 3-2. and two. Got five more free winners lined up for you today in Major League Baseball. Four of them are underdogs. Let's get right into it. As a reminder, you can always smash that like button if you're in agreement with me on these. Number one, Rockies plus 180 versus the D-backs. There is absolutely no way on earth that D- the D-backs should be this big of favorites because they have the odious Jordan Montgomery on the hill. Yes, the D-backs have won 9 of 10 overall, but that one loss, it came the last time Montgomery started. And I faded him that day against the Phillies. Now, you may be saying, BP, there's a big gap in quality between the Phillies and Rockies. That's true. But Colorado was up three runs in each of the first two games of this series. They were one out away from winning last night. Now let's talk about Montgomery, an extremely fraudulent one-loss record. He has a 6.37 ERA, a 1.68 whip for the season. Here at home, those numbers jump to 8.14 and 2.05. He's been worse in the daytime than at night. This is a 340 Eastern start, by the way. Still no Marte in the lineup last night for Arizona either. I'd expect him to sit again this afternoon for Colorado. Rookie Tanner Gordon, he had a career-high 7 Ks in a win over the Braves last time out. He's a bigger underdog today. I say the Rockies jump on Montgomery early, and this time they hold on for the victory. Number two, Pirates plus 120 versus the Padres. Let's jump in front of all the hot teams today on the Power 5. The Padres, like the D-backs, have won 9 of their last 10. Many of those uh, have been close. Last 6 wins... By a combined 11 runs. Three of those required extra innings. Again, big picture. I like this San Diego team quite a bit. I'm on record as saying they're a dark horse to win the NL pennant. This afternoon, they look to sweep the Pirates for a second time in a week. Problem, however, is they have Martin Perez on Martin Perez on the mound. Perez is just not very good. 5.50 expected ERA this season. And the Pirates know this because they traded him to San Diego last month. In addition to having Perez well scouted, the Bucks are much better against lefties. Sixth in WRC Plus versus lefties the last 30 days. Uh, they're much better against lefties than they are against righties, I should say. Again, sixth in WRC Plus versus lefties last 30 days. Despite losing 3 nothing last night, Pittsburgh actually outhit San Diego in that game. The problem is they were 0 for 7 with runners in scoring position. They're 1 for 17 in that situation the last two days. Expect more timely hitting this afternoon. And for Pirates starter Mitch Keller to hold up his end of the bargain. The Pirates, oh, by the way, 4-1 and one the last five times. Keller has taken the mound. San Diego's bullpen also very taxed at the moment. Number three, Rangers Red Sox under 9.5. Let's try this again. Monday saw these teams go over thanks to extra innings. It was tied 3-3 after 9. Tuesday saw the Red Sox deliver a big fifth inning and go on to win 9-4. Big cluster. Most of the runs uh, in last night's game came in two innings. Uh, It was the first time in the last six games last night, I speak of, that Boston scored more than four runs in nine innings. Texas, who's rapidly falling out of playoff contention, they're now 10 games under. They didn't even have a single base runner in the first five innings last night. That was against Cutter Crawford. Uh, The Rangers' offense stinks, quite frankly, and I don't like its chances tonight against Tanner Houck, who was a 2.96 ERA at Fenway this season. Now, it does look like Dane Dunning is going to be the starter for the Rangers. That's never good when betting the under, but I'm going to remain steadfast on this one. If Dunning's too scary for you, then just bet the Rangers under their team total, but I'm going under 9.5 for the game. Number four, A's plus 155 versus the Mets. A's won last night 9-4. They scored seven times in the first three innings, most of that coming against former teammate Paul Blackburn. I think they could do it again here. Why? Because the Mets are starting David Peterson, who is one of the biggest overachievers in all of baseball when it comes to actual versus expected ERA. Peterson's expected ERA, guys, sits more than two full runs higher than his actual ERA. So the regression monster is going to be coming for him. Peterson is a lefty. Just so happens the A's, number one in MLB and WRC Plus against lefties since July 1st, posting a ridiculous 154. Number five, our final underdog of the day is the Blue Jays, who are playing the Angels. Much shorter dog compared to the other three I've recommended to today. Uh, can't say I'm shocked that Toronto's a short dog in the spot. Honestly, I think they should be favored. Uh, they beat the Halos 6-1 last night. They're going to be going for a three-game sweep here. Tyler Anderson is on the mound for LA. Boy, do I want to fade him. 
Don't be fooled by a 2.99 ERA. He's got a 4.20 expected ERA. That is the theme of the program today. And Anderson has pitched much worse at home this year. Jose Barrios, he was good his last time out for Toronto. He should deal here against an Angels lineup that's managed just three runs in its last two games. So let's recap the Power 5 underdog heavy today. Rockies, plus 180 versus the D-backs. Number two, Pirates, plus 120 versus the Padres. Three, Red Sox, Rangers under 9.5. That's our lone total. Four, A's plus 155 versus the Mets. Five, Blue Jays plus 105 versus the Angels. You can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. If you already haven't hit that like button, please do so now. Of course, we got that great special offer still going on at wagertalk.com where you can get seven days of service for the price of three. That's right, four days free. Just $69 to get on board a seven-day pass. And wow, what a time to get on board with me over at wt.buzz slash bp. I just released a 5% college football win total. I've been giving out college football win totals uh, the last two weeks here on the Power 5. Well, this is my favorite college football win total. It is a 5% max bet. I'm 70% with 5% college football plays going back to December of 2022. Remember how I ended last season, 19-8 and eight run. We had a 5% on Michigan over Alabama. Then we took Michigan again in the national championship game as they routed Washington. So 5% college football total is already posted on my page, wt.buzz slash bp. Furthermore, the start of the soccer season right around the corner. I'm on a 33-14-2 run with all soccer through the Euro Cup and Copa America, which of course concluded last month. 8-0 last eight Premier League plays uh, to end last season. Number one in the EPL. Number one in La Liga. Number one in Serie A. Uh, in net units last season at Wager Talk. Very excited about soccer. So head on over to my page. Take advantage of that seven-day special. And if you're not already subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Click that bell. You get instant alerts when this show drops. Morning Wager, of course, also available today. Myself and Mark Zinno doing what we do. Talk to you then. Until next time, let's cash some tickets.